What's going on guys, Chad CRC back with you here and today I want to talk about the flaw style. When I first got the flaw style, I was pretty happy with it. Everything flew really good, the video was good, didn't have any crazy tendencies or vibrations or anything, but it was kind of a wild flyer and I wasn't sure if that's because of the weight difference that I'm used to flying at my reverbs which you know are around 430 435 all up weight without a battery or GoPro um, and then we got the flaw style here which comes in at about 367 uh, with an antenna I don't have an antenna on here right now but what I've done recently is compare these and I've also taken my MB Epic 229, which I normally fly 5S and 5.5 and inch props on, and it's kind of like my long range ripper, you know, for big air and everything. But with the crops up and everything like that, I still wanted to fly it because I love the way it flies. I propped down to uh, 5.1 inch uh, props on here, and I've been flying it around more like a park flyer type of deal. And, you know, between like this and the reverb, you know, the compact design, you know, this plate here, this is real, this is lower, the CG's lower, you got everything nice and aligned right here. It's a squished X, so it holds lines, it's really great in the air when you're coming out of dives and you need to like hit holes and everything like that, where the flaw style and it's six you know it's stretched out kind of deal makes it a little bit more wild flying that's the only way I can explain it I've done as much as I can with my tuning and rates and trying different props and um, different battery sizes I definitely could tell that it likes it likes a, a lighter battery but it flies with less tuning issues with a heavier battery so a 1300 versus a 1500 so I'm probably going to go ahead and just go ahead and call the flaw style a fun decent experiment I just try to be as transparent as I can it might be the right frame for you I have some friends out there that absolutely love it and fly it and I know a lot of people out there do as well a lot of people on my channel are probably going to be more prone to the epic because I have a lot more long range mid range type of subscribers um, but you know the epic and the reverb you know the reverb being a lot heavier uh, of course but it's just more of that you know true X kind of compact design uh, I don't have any problems with how you know things go together the build is great and everything the hardware is pretty whack um, you know he talks Bob talks about how you know they use the best hardware and you know the standoffs constantly come loose and unscrewed I've resorted to Loctite and all of them and that's fine and everything I already have some uh, delamination there from a wreck which you know whatever I'm not going to blame that on them this thing did take a couple pretty big smacks and held up pretty good but you know I'm constantly just like going over this thing and finding that I have like loose frame bolts and everything like that and I mean I think the big problem with this design is these lock nuts right here um, that you thread these bolts up through and then the standoff is there it's it's hard to just get all of this really cinch down where it's not going to come loose because you end up uh, putting you know a wrench down here and putting your frame bolt your uh, bolts through uh, the bottom and then you know you put your standoffs on top of that and then of course you screw your 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 bolts down through the standoff but they just seem to start you know getting loose and everything but you know everything's good in there the stack you know everything fits really good everything's mounted good the video performance is fine I have no problem with that at all it looks really good but it just doesn't have the flight characteristics that 
I like and that I'm used to. Um, you kind of thought all top mounted batteries would kind of fly the same, but it just doesn't have the, I guess it's because of the, the, the stretched kind of X design. It, it just doesn't have the, the stability and you know the, the rotational rates that I like or that I'm trying to get used to. So I'll be ripping parts out of here. I got plans get a cup to get a couple protons ready for FPV fest for racing and uh, you know I've got some parts off of here that I can use like the camera and the RXR for uh, another Acro Brat build. So no problems with that. But that's just kind of my take right now. So gonna put the flaw style aside and that's it. So it's the last time you'll be seeing it on the channel. Talk to you guys later.